Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking SC77 again for the second video, today, second video today. This is a cigar review, I promise you guys. Okay, let's do it. The Brickhouse Robusto Cigar. Okay, now I may have already reviewed this cigar, but I did it a long time ago, so I want to re-review re it and do a full review of it. Now this cigar is a, is a 5 by 54 ring gauge cigar. So about this size. I can't show you because I already smoked it. Um, about an hour ago, or half an hour ago. Um, it's, um, I believe it's like maybe a Habano wrapper. It's very nice. Um, it cost me just under $7 in my local tobacco and I watched the cigar, which I went to today. Anyway, um, let's do the actual re review. Uh, Strength-wise, very low strength, uh, very low nicotine. Obviously, I don't inhale cigars, which you're not supposed to, supposed to inhale cigars. Um, I mean, some people do, but I don't inhale, personally. Um, mild strength, um, no strength, no buzz. Um, body of it is very nice, um, you get a very creamy, um, dry, slightly coffee-like flavor, a lot of earth, a lot of pepper, especially in the beginning, you get a lot of pepper, a, pep a lot of pepper in the first third, um, you get a lot of earth, as you go further, you get more and more of that creaminess, not like a buttercream, but like a very creamy, dry flavor, um, not parched, doesn't make you have a cotton mouth, but, um, very, very pleasant. It's not a flavor in few cigars, so it's not flavored. Um, the ruminant of it smells like most cigars, which is unpleasant um, to non-smokers. Um, very strong and very heavy, very smoky. Um, there's no funky irritation to the mouth or anything like that. Any have, um, what I'm trying to say is, you know, any have bite, because uh, most cigars don't bite. It does burn fairly hot. Um, well, it does smoke very hot. Um, I think a pie tobacco here. I'm trying to do a... I've been doing pie tobacco reviews so much, now I'm doing cigar reviews. Um, so I'm trying to... Um, kind of gauge my brain. So, um, anyway, enough rambling. So, um, yeah, it does have a very loose draw to it, so you have to be very careful. Um, I use a perfect cutter, a perfect cutter, cigar cutter, so you have to be careful when you draw it not to overheat it, because it does have a very loose draw. Um, produces tons of smoke, lots of billowing cloud smoke, um, which if you don't, if you don't know billowing clouds of smoke, you just poof, big amount of smoke. Um, so, um, very loose dry. It does get pretty squishy pretty easily because if you draw too much. Um, I generally, in general, I take a draw about, you know, I take a puff or two every um, uh, 15 to 30 seconds, or not that much, but you know, every once in a while, or when I'm smoking it, so, um, because you do smoke it. Um, so, what I suggest recommend to our cigar smoker and our cigar smoker, yes, if you like um, medium-bodied, um, you know, medium-bodied cigars that are earthy and peppery and creamy, and just pleasant, not harsh at all, um, not bitter, um, great cigar, very affordable, uh, you can get these for as cheap as a dollar or two, as, as much as, you know, some places that have, that have high tobacco tax, um, could be ten or fifteen dollars, but, um, very nice cigar, um, so that's about it, so, um, i probably give it the Brickhouse Robusto out of ten, i probably give it a good nine out of ten, very good, it's about A minus my book, I go by a grade scale, obviously, so, very pleasant, um, not harsh, um, and that's about it. So, peace of Christ later, um, comment, rate, subscribe, press, press me, all that stuff, do video spots, all that stuff, and peace of Christ later, and bye.